Hey guys, it's quarantine time, so I think it's up to each of us to re be responsible about how we interact with other people and just to make sure that even if you're not at risk yourself, you're not putting other people at risk. And so that might mean that you're staying home more often and your physical fitness is still important. So let's talk about some things that you can do in the comfort of your home with really simple equipment that's gonna keep you in shape. Stay tuned. All right, so for today's episode, I am going to focus on stretch bands. And stretch bands basically to me mean it's a rubberized piece of tubing with a handle on either side. And these can be fantastic for doing all the same exercises you do in the gym. The thing that you have to pay attention to is you just have to be more creative in the positions that you do them from. Um, typically, you're gonna have to have them anchored to either a vertical object, whether it be a pole or a signpost, or if you're talking about in your home, maybe a piece of vertical part of your furniture, or we can actually loop it into a door and use that. So stay tuned and let's, let's take a look at some of the things that you can do to stay in shape while you're in the comfort of your own home. So the first exercise we're gonna show is the band squat. Now to me, the squat is probably one of the best exercises that you can do. If you only had time to do one exercise, the squat would be my first choice just because there's so many body parts involved and the legs are such a large muscle group that when you, when you exert them and fatigue them properly, it burns a lot of calories and takes a lot of effort so you get a lot of bang for your buck. So for the squat, you want to stand on the band so it's gonna be kind of centered in your stance. Your feet are about hip width to start and depending on how the, the squat feels to you, you can always widen your stance if necessary depending on your flexibility. I have my hands above my shoulders, my elbows are bent and the handles are in my hands. And so the, the squat motion is very similar to sitting down into a chair. So your first intention might be just to drop straight down and keep your back straight. You actually do not want to do this. You want to reach back with your rear as if there's a chair behind you. You're going to bend forward at the waist. And so the bend forward at the waist, the hips going back. What this does is, is keep your body in proper position. All the weight bearing parts of this exercise are being supported by bones and muscle and not necessarily ligaments and tendons. Your depth is going to be determined by your flexibility, so only go as deep as you can maintain this proper posture. And just a couple points to think about. Your eyes are going to be level to the horizon, not looking down. You want to keep your chest up as if there is a headlight attached to your chest and you want to make sure you keep that pointed up and out the same direction your eyes are pointed. Your feet are either gonna be pointed forward or slightly turned out. So 45 degrees turned out would be about the maximum you wanna go. And you would only do this to accommodate for flexibility issues. Keep your body weight on your muscles tension. Don't just drop and let gravity drop you as if you're jumping down off a shelf. When you reach your bottom point, push through your heels to raise yourself back up to the start position. And we're gonna do sets of 15 repetitions. Let's do what I call a lat pull down. And so for this exercise, you will either need to wrap your cord around a high point, maybe a high point of a tree, a high point of a signpost, or into the top of a doorway. But from your anchor point, you wanna have a nice stable stance. You want your posture to be straight. You've got your arms extended towards the point of origin, and that is gonna be your starting point. From the starting point, you wanna pull with your elbows straight back. So you're just gonna pull until your elbows reach their full bend. You wanna make sure your body posture does not change through this entire range of motion. Pull until your elbows reach the full bend. Pause just for a short beat, just so the muscle tension can be recorded by your brain, and then slowly return back to start position, keeping the muscles under tension. And you're gonna feel these in what is called the lat muscles, and they're located right around the armpit area. And these are the only muscle that attaches your arms to your legs. Next exercise is basically the opposite of the previous exercise. It is the chest press. And for this exercise, we are gonna have our back to the point of origin. So we are facing away from the direction that the bands are coming from. Your anchor point can vary for this one because different, depending on your different heights you use, the different parts of the chest are gonna be emphasized. So what you wanna do is you wanna be anchored right around the level of your chest, right around that latitude, or you could go a few inches higher or a few inches lower. And that would be, a, that would be your range that you wanna to attach to. So you, know, you might have a 12 inch range as far as high range to low range. 
So with your back turned to the point of origin, you wanna have straight posture. And again, this posture never changes. Your elbows are wide and your hands are wide. So with a stable stance, you are gonna press forward. Keeping these muscles under tension, you wanna return slowly back to the start position. And again, 15 repetitions will be the count. So this next exercise I wanna illustrate is called eyes to thighs. It has a much more technical name, but I like this name because it helps me remember the range of motion. You're gonna start with your elbows straight, and I like to even have my elbows locked. And your hands are gonna be about eye level, parallel to the floor, maybe slightly higher. You are gonna slowly, under, under steady pressure, press down with straight elbows until your hands touch your thighs. Pause briefly at that position, and then slowly return back to the start position. And again, for a total of 15 repetitions, make sure you coordinate your breathing with the movement and not holding your breath is the main important thing on this one. But if you do this one properly with your shoulders back, chest lifted, you are actually gonna reinforce this perfect posture and it's gonna be good for your core strength. So the last exercise is just gonna be a basic shoulder exercise, rear shoulder exercise. And I like to call this the T-deltoid. And sorry about the, the, the gym lingo, the deltoid is, is the muscles of the shoulder and we are going to make a letter T with our body. So your anchor point now is a right about chest height. So neck to chest height will be your anchor point. You are facing the point of origin. Uh, you wanna stand back far enough so your arms could be extended, pointed straight towards the point of origin. Your posture is straight and never changes throughout the entire exercise. And your elbows are locked straight. So from this position, you are going to extend your arms straight out to the side. And when you get to the end point, your body is going to be in the shape of a letter T. Your arms are extended straight out to the sides and your posture is straight up and down. So by maintaining your posture and making this letter T, you are strengthening the muscles of your, of your rear shoulders. And this is so important for posture because these muscles become weak and loose in the daily routines that we lead in this current age of technology, being on cell phones and texting and driving and computer posture and all these things that, that flex your body forward, you need to do exercises like this that reverse that and open yourself up and keep your posture correct. Hey, I wanna thank you for watching this video. I know it was really short, but it's a great start to a good series that I feel like is gonna really benefit some of the people out there. Um, photographers, these are especially good ones for you because we do have a job where we are bent forward and the front half of our body tends to get more, um, gets more strain and stress than the back of our body. And if you don't correct that through exercise, you will have some orthopedic issues as life gets down the road. So I, I can guarantee you that. So, Stay tuned for the next video. This is a great start for rubber bands. And if you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe because there'll be more videos of this type. Stay positive and we will get through this to the other side. This is John Osumi from Motion Shooter Photography.